Yo and a lot around, what's going on YouTube and welcome back my fellow pixel lighters. Welcome back to another Minecraft pixel light tour build on Team 7 Designs. Just before we get started in today's build, I just want to say hopefully everyone's had a lovely Christmas so far and hopefully you're enjoying your holiday right now. Now with all of that being said, if you've got any cool gifts or any, um, you know, kind of those cheesy gifts or funny gifts, let me know in the comments down below what you got for Christmas if you want to let me know. Now with all that being said, without further ado, let's get started in today's build. So once again, as per usual, we're going to be using the same blocks, so our black concrete and our bookshelf. And for today's area that we're going to be starting off with, we're just going to be flying above the right eye that we did for Kakaske. And we're going to be moving to that one that's sticking up right there. So as you can see that one that's just sticking up, we're going to be going to there and starting off from here. So once again, once you have flown to here, make sure to go and hit the like button if you haven't already. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to go and hit that as well. It is completely for free and it helps out a lot. And I guess it's really close to that 500 sub goal. Now, without further ado, once you have landed this one sticking up right here, with our black concrete, we're going to place another four going up from here. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And there you go. Once you place four going up from here, we're not going to do an up left diagonal. Just like so. Once you're doing this up left diagonal, we're then going to place one to the left, and we're going to fly back into the right by one. So back to this one right here, and we're then going to do an up right diagonal from here. And then on this up right diagonal, we're going to place one to the right, just like so. And there you go. As you can see, that one you place to the right connects to that one sticking out to the left right there, and we should be looking like that so far. So there's the final part of the eye complete there as well, by the way, as we didn't finish off the scar in the last part. But once we have done this, we're going to fly back to that other one that we've placed to the left. So the two sticking up to the left right here. Once you have flown back to this one that we placed to the left right here, we're then going to place another two going to the left from here. So one and two, just like so. When the second one you place to the left, we're then going to place one underneath, just like so. Once you place one underneath, we're then going to place one to the left. And then we're going to place one on top. And if one you place on top, we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to place one underneath, just like so. And if one is one you place underneath, we're then going to place one to the left. And if one is one you place to the left, we're going to place one going underneath. And then once you place this one underneath, we're going to fly back up by one. So back up to this up left corner right here. And once you've flown back to this up left corner, we're then going to place seven going to the left from here. So one, two, three. 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, just like so. Once you place 7 going to the left, we're going to fly into the right by 1. So to this one right here, as you can see, and we're going to place 1 black concrete going underneath here, just like so. Once you place 1 underneath, we're going to place 1 to the right, and then we're going to fly back into the left by 1. So back to this one right here, and we're then going to do 3 bottom left diagonals from here. So, one, two, and three. And there you go. On this third bottom left diagonal, we're then going to place one to the left, just like so. And then we get to do four bottom left diagonals from here. So, one, two, three, and four. And there you go. On this fourth bottom left diagonal, we're then going to place one to the left, just like so. And then we're going to do two bottom left diagonals from here. So one and two. And there you go. On the second bottom left diagonal, we're then going to place two going to the left. So one and two. And then on the second one, you place to the left right here. We're then going to place one underneath. And then we're going to fly back up by one. So back up to this up left corner. And we're then going to place one going to the left from here. And there we go. Once you place this one to the left, we're then going to zoom out, fly back to the one that we placed underneath, so back to this one right here. Once you've flown back to here, we're then going to do a bottom left diagonal from here, just like so. Once you're doing this bottom left diagonal, as you can see, we're then going to do two up left diagonals from here. So one and two. And there you go. And the second up left diagonal, we're then going to place one on top, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. Then we're going to place another one on top, just like so. And then we're going to do another left diagonal. 
and then this time we're going to place three on top so one two and three and there we go as you can see we should be looking like that so far once we've done all of that right there we are complete with this lower line so we're going to fly back to the one that we placed underneath right here so back to this one right here as you can see where we did the bottom left diagonal from and once you have flown back to here with our black concrete we're going to place four going to the right from here so one two three and four and there you go we should be looking like that right there so as you can see we've got two sticking out to the right right there and flying back towards the end of that too so then once you have flying back to this two sticking out to the right right here we're then going to do an upright diagonal from here just like so from this upright diagonal we're then going to place one to the right and there we go once you place this one to the right we're then going to do four upright diagonals from here so one two three and four just like so and there we go once you got four upright diagonals right there and this fourth one we're going to place one going to the right from here just like so once we place this one to the right we're then going to do two upright diagonals so one and two and there you go and the second upright diagonal we're then going to place one to the right just like so now we're going to place one underneath and then we're going to fly back up by one so back up to this upright corner and we're then going to do an upright diagonal just like so on this upright diagonal we're then going to place one to the right and then we're going to do another upright diagonal just like so and then we're going to place one to the right and there you go as you can see that when you place it the right right there should connect an upright diagonal direction to this one that was sticking underneath right here and i'm just going to zoom out so as you can see we should be looking like this so far but we're not quite done yet because we want to fly back to that one that we placed underneath right here so back to this one as you can see and then once you have flown back to this one sticking underneath right here we're going to do a bottom left diagonal from here there we go once you're doing this bottom left diagonal we're then going to place one underneath just like so and then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal and then we're going to place another one underneath just like so and there we go we're done with that part right there so as you can see we should be looking like this once we've done this right here we're going to fly all the way back up to this one that's sticking out to the left right here so as you can see that one right there we're going to fly all the way back to here so then once you have flown back to this one sticking out to the left right here we're then going to place another 25 going to the left from here so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four and twenty five and there we go once you place twenty five going to the left right here we're then going to place one going underneath just like so once you place one underneath we're going to fly back up by one so back up to this up left corner and we're then going to place one going to the left from here just like so once you place this one to the left we're then going to zoom out and fly back to the one that just placed underneath so back to this one right here and once you're flying back to this one right here we're going to place another one going underneath from here and there we go once we place this one another one underneath right here we're then going to do another bottom left diagonal from here just like so when it's bottom left diagonal we're going to place two underneath so one and two just like so and when it's two you place underneath we're then going to do another bottom left diagonal just like so and this time we're going to place one going underneath and there we go and then once you place this one underneath right here we're then going to do five bottom left diagonals from here so one two three four and five just like so once you've done five bottom left diagonals right here we're then going to take out our bookshelf and we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here just like so and then once you've done this bottom right diagonal with your bookshelf we're going to take out our black concrete and we're going to do two bottom right diagonals from this bookshelf so one and two and there you go on the second bottom right diagonal we're then going to place one underneath just like so and then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal and then this time we're going to place six going underneath from here so one two three 
4, 5, and 6. And there you go. Once you place this 6 going underneath right here, we're going to zoom out, destroy that one bookshelf, and then we're going to fly all the way back up to the top, back up to this one sticking out to the left right here as you can see. So back to that one right there. So then, once you have flown back to this one sticking out to the left right here, we're then going to place another 25 going to the left from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And there we go. Once you place 25 going along to the left right here, we're then going to fly into the right by 1, so to this one right here, and we're then going to place 1 going underneath from here, just like so. Once you place this 1 underneath, we're then going to place 1 going to the right, just like so. And from this one you place to the right, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. From this bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place 1 to the right, just like so. And then we're going to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. And there we go. On the second bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place one to the right, just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And then we're going to place another one to the right, just like so. And then we're going to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two, just like so. And from the second bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one to the right. And there we go. Once you place this one to the right, we're then going to do another bottom right diagonal. Just like so. And then this time we're going to place two to the right. So one and two. And there you go. Once you place two to the right, we're then going to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. Just like so. And from the second bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place one going to the right from here. Just like so. And then we're going to fly back into the left by one. So back to this one right here, and we're then going to do a bottom left diagonal from here. And there we go. Once you're in this bottom left diagonal, we're going to fly back up to the one that we just placed to the right, right here. So back to this one right here, and once you're flying back towards here, we're going to place another one going to the right from here, just like so. So it looks like three sticking out in total so far. And then once you've done this, we're going to do two right diagonals from the end of here. So one and two. And there you go. Once you've done these two at right diagonals, then I'm going to zoom out and fly back to the bottom left diagonal we did right here. So back to this one. Once you've flown back to this bottom left diagonal, we're then going to place one going to the left from here, just like so. And then we're going to do an up left diagonal. And there we go. When it's up left diagonal, we're then going to place two to the left. So one and two, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. Just like so. And then we're going to place one to the left. And there we go. Once you place this one to the left right here, we're then going to repeat this two here three more times going in a up left diagonal direction. So do an up left diagonal, place one to the left, that's one. Another up left diagonal, another one to the left, that's two. And then another up left diagonal, and another one to the left, and that's three. And there we go. As you can see, we should have four of those twos in total right there, going in the up left diagonal direction. So one, two, three, and four. As you can see, we've got four of them, so fly back towards the end one. Once you fly back towards the end one, do another up left diagonal from here, just like so. When there's up left diagonal, we're then going to place one going to the left. Then from this one you place to the left, we're going to place one underneath. And in front of this one you place underneath, we're going to fly back up by one. So back up to this up left corner. And we're then going to place one to the left. Just like so. Once you place this one to the left, we're then going to place one on top. And in front of this one you place on top, we're going to place one to the left. Just like so. And in front of this one you place to the left, we're going to do two of left diagonals. So one and two. And there you go. In the second up left diagonal, we're only going to place one going to the left. Just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And then we're going to place another one to the left. Just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And then this time from this up left diagonal. We're going to place one on top. And then we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to fly back into the right by one. 
So back to this right corner. And we're then going to place five going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then once you place this five to the right right here, we're then going to place one going underneath, just like so. And if there's one you place underneath, we're then going to place one going to the left. And there we go. Once you place this one to the left right here, we're then going to zoom out. So as you can see, we should be looking like this so far. Once we've done this, we're going to fly back to the one black concrete sticking underneath right here. So just exactly the same as that other area. And once we've flown back to this black concrete sticking underneath right here, we're then going to place another one going underneath from here, just like so. Then once you place this one underneath, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal. And then we're going to place one underneath, just like so. And then finally but not least, do another bottom right diagonal. And there you go. Once you're in this bottom right diagonal, we're then going to zoom out, as we had done with that part right there. So as you can see, we should be looking like this. And once we've done this, we're going to fly back to the one black concrete, sticking up to the left right here. So flying back towards here. Once you're flying back towards here, we're going to place another one going to the left from here, just like so. Once you've done this, we're going to do an up left diagonal. And there we go. Now from the up left diagonal, we're going to place 7 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Just like so. Once you place 7 to the left, we're then going to do another up left diagonal. Then this time we're going to place 3 to the left. So 1, 2 and 3. Just like so. Once you place this 3 going to the left, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. Just like so. And then we're going to place 2 going to the left from here. So 1 and 2. And there we go. Once you place this 2 to the left right here, we're then going to zoom out quickly. Because we're going to do 2 points off this area right here. So we're going to do an up left diagonal from here. And we're also going to do a bottom left diagonal. So we're going to do an up left diagonal first. And fly back to the end of the 3. And then do a bottom left diagonal. And there we go. And as you can see we should be looking like that right there. Once we've done this, we're going to fly back to the bottom left diagonal first. So back to this one right here. And we're then going to place one going to the left from here. Just like so. Once we've done this, we're then going to do three bottom left diagonals. So one, two, and three. Just like so. Then on this third bottom left diagonal, we're going to take out our bookshelf. And we're going to place two bookshelves going underneath from here. So one and two. And there we go. Once we place two bookshelves going underneath right here, we're then going to take out our black concrete, and so we're going to place one black concrete underneath the two bookshelves for now. And there we go. Once we've done this, we're then going to zoom out. So we'll leave the bookshelves there for now. So this is going to be part of the eye, but obviously we're not going to do that today, as that's quite a lot of work to do. So we'll do that in a separate part. So once we have done this, we're going to fly all the way back up to the up left diagonal we did right here. And once you've flown to this up left diagonal, we're going to place two going to the left from here. So one and two, just like so. Once you've done this, we're then going to do another up left diagonal from here. Just like so. And then we're going to place one to the left. And there we go. Once we've done this, we're then going to do another up left diagonal. And then this time we're going to place two to the left. So one and two, just like so. And then once we've done this, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. And then we're going to place another one to the left. Just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And we're going to place another one to the left. And there we go. As you can see we've got two twos there. And once we've done this, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. And there we go. When it's up left diagonal, we're going to place two going to the left this time. So one and two. Just like so. And then once we've done this, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. And there we go. From this up left diagonal, we're then going to place one to the left this time, just like so. And then once you place this one to the left, we're going to do another up left diagonal from here. And then we're going to place another one to the left, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And we're going to place another one to the left. And this time we're going to place one underneath. And then we're going to fly back up by one. So back up to this up left corner. And we're then going to do an up left diagonal from here, just like so. From this up left diagonal, we're then going to place two going to the left. So one and two. When there's two you place to the left, we're going to place one on top. And if there's one you place on top, we're going to place five going to the left from here. So one, two, 
three, four, and five, just like so. Once you place five going to the left right here, we're going to fly all the way back to the right, back to this upper right corner right here, on top of the three, and we're going to place three black concrete going to the right for now. So, one, two, and three. And there you go. As you can see, we should have one sticking over the edge right there. Once you've done this, we're then going to zoom out, and we're going to fly over to the one black concrete sticking underneath right here. So, fly over to this one right here. And then once you've flown to this one black concrete sticking underneath right here, we're then going to place 28 going underneath from here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And there we go. Once you place 28 black concrete going underneath right here, we're then going to take out our bookshelf, and we're going to place two bookshelves going to the right from here. So, one and two. Once you place this second bookshelf to the right, take out your black concrete, and we're going to place one going to the right from the second bookshelf for now. Once we've done this, we're going to fly all the way back to the left, back to this 28 we just went underneath by. And continuing on with our black concrete, we're going to place another seven going underneath from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there we go. Once you place seven going underneath right here, we're going to fly back up my one. So back up to this one right here. And we're going to place one black concrete going to the left just like so. Once you place this one to the left, we're then going to place two going up from here. So, one and two, just like so. And then once you place this two going up right here, we're then going to do it up left diagonal, just like so. When it's up left diagonal, we're then going to place two on top. So, one and two, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And when it's up left diagonal, we're going to place another two on top. So, one and two, just like so. Then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And then we're going to place another two on top. So one and two. Just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And this time we're going to place six going up from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there we go. Once you place six going up right here, we're going to do another up left diagonal. And this time we're going to place four on top. So one, two, three, and four. And then once you place four on top, we're going to do another up left diagonal, just like so. When it's up left diagonal, we're then going to place five on top. So one, two, three, four, and five, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. And this time we're going to place three on top. So one, two, and three. Once we've done this, we're then going to take out our bookshelf. And we're just going to make sure that we're in line. So we're going to place three bookshelves going up from here. So one, two, and three. And as you can see, those three bookshelves you place up there connects to the very furthest line right here that we've done so far, which should be the very top of the build, which we will check that part once we go across to the right. And flying back to here, we're just going to destroy those three bookshelves because we don't need those anymore. And once we destroy these, we're going to fly all the way back down from this line that we just did right here. So there's four in total that's going up where we place the three bookshelves on top. We're just going to fly to the bottom of it and with our bookshelf, we're going to place six bookshelves underneath here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there we go. Once you place six bookshelves going underneath here, take out your black concrete, and we're going to place five black concrete going underneath here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there we go. Once you place five black concrete going underneath here, we're then going to do a bottom right diagonal from here, just like so. We're on this bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place 11 going underneath here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, just like so. And once you place 11 going underneath, we're then going to do a bottom right diagonal, just like so. And then we're going to place 1 underneath. And there we go. Once you place this 1 underneath right here, we're then going to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So 1, and two, just like so. And when the second bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place one underneath. And there we go. Once we place this one underneath, we're then going to do another bottom right diagonal. And then we're going to place another one underneath, just like so. 
And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And then we're going to place another one underneath. And if we're just, when you place underneath, we're going to do a bottom left diagonal from here. Just like so. And when it's bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one underneath for now. And then we're going to fly back up by one. So back up to this one right here. And we're then going to do an up left diagonal. Just like so. When it's up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top. And for once, when you place on top, we're then going to do three up left diagonals. So one, two, and three. Just like so. When it's third up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. Just like so. And then once you've done this one right here, we're then going to take out our bookshelf and we're going to place 14 bookshelves going up from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. As you can see the 14 bookshelves connect back to the bottom of this 5 black concrete right here. Which means we've done everything correctly so far. So we can destroy these bookshelves. So destroy these ones up here. And then just destroy the 14 that we did. Oh, don't destroy that though. And there we go. So once we have destroyed those bookshelves, we're going to zoom out, fly back to the two that's sticking underneath right here. So back to that one black concrete we place underneath that first bottom left diagonal right here. Just want to fly back to this two. And we're going to place another three black concrete going underneath from here. So one, two, and three. And there we go. Once we've done this, we're then going to do another bottom left diagonal. Just like so. Once we've done this, we're then going to zoom out. And we're going to fly back to the right, back to this one black concrete sticking underneath right here. Once we've flown back to here, we're going to place another one going underneath from here. Just like so. And then once you place this another one underneath right here, we're then going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. And there we go. On this bottom right diagonal, we're then going to place four underneath. So one, two, three, and four, just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And then this time we're going to place three underneath. So one, two, and three, just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And this time we're going to place two going underneath from here. So one and two. And the second one you place underneath, we're then going to place one to the right, just like so. And for this one you place to the right, we're going to do three bottom right diagonals. So one, two, and three. And there you go. And as you can see, that third bottom right diagonal should connect on top of this black concrete line right here. And once we've done this, we're going to place one black concrete going to the right. And then once we place this one to the right, we're going to fly back into the left by one. So back to this one right here. And we're then going to place four going to the left from here. So one, two, three, and four. Once you place four to the left, we're then going to place one on top. Then we're going to fly underneath by one. So back down to this bottom left corner. And we're then going to place... 10 going to the left from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And there you go. As you can see, that 10 you place to the left right there connects back to that one that was sticking in right here, which means we've done everything correctly so far. So once we've done this, we're going to just fly all the way back to this one black concrete that we place going up right here. Once you've flown back to this one right here, we're then going to place another one going up from here, just like so. When there's one you just place on the top, we're then going to place six going to the left from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you place this six to the left, we're then going to do an up left diagonal. Just like so. When it's up left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left. Just like so. Then we're going to do two up left diagonals. So one and two. Then from the second up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top. Just like so. Then we're going to do another up left diagonal, and then this time we're going to place two on top. So one and two. And there we go. Once we've done this, we're going to take out our bookshelf, and for our final check of the day, we're just going to place 11 bookshelves going up from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. As you can see, that eleven should connect underneath this one up left diagonal of the black concrete right here. Once we've done this, we're going to destroy those eleven bookshelves. And then continue back on from this three that we just went up with the black concrete where we went up by the 11 bookshelves. We're just going to fly to the bottom of it and we're going to place six bookshelves underneath. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
And there you go. As you can see, the six is in line with the very end of the black concrete and is in level because it was six coming underneath. Now, once we've done this, we destroy those six bookshelves. And that means we've done everything correctly so far for the build. And there we go. So as you can see, we've got everything marked out to the end, which means we've done everything correctly so far. And we've done pretty much the underneath for the headband, as you can see. So in the next part, we'll be finishing off the bottom piece right here. And we'll probably be starting on the eye. And then we have another part to do, to do the up part up there. So without further ado, that is everything so far for today. If you have enjoyed this build so far, feel free to go and hit that like button if you haven't already. And if you're new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, make sure to go and do that. It does help out a lot and it is much appreciated. Once again, hopefully you have a lovely holiday. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye.